It looks great. Finally. It looks great. <laughs> I always give you compliments. They're usually backhanded, but is it? First, we're going to crack on with the tomato sauce. Okay. We've got a lot of garlic here. That is a lot of garlic. I know. We've got the garlic thinly sliced, and I'm just going to split the chilies. We're going to put these in a hole just for a bit of flavour. Okay. And a little bit of olive oil in here. Mm -hmm. And the garlic goes in. And I'm going to put these in. So we just want to cook the garlic, not brown it, mm -hmm. so it goes slightly opaque, and we get all the flavour into the oil. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tip the tomatoes in. I'm just going to season that a bit, and a pinch of sugar. Okay. And we just let that simmer mm -hmm. now for about 30 minutes. What next? Aubergines. We are going to peel these and use them as sort of the base of our meatballs. Okay. We are browning these off. Okay. Seasoning them as we go. A little bit of colour on there. And I'm going to cover the pan and let the aubergine part fry, part steam in their own juices. And we'll give that 10 minutes. While it's cooking, I'm going to put together all the other ingredients. Okay. So we have some ground almonds, some breadcrumbs, soft breadcrumbs. Okay. A little bit of oregano, some capers, mm -hmm. some chopped basil, some mint, and parsley. Grated cheese. About a handful and an egg. Let's just check the aubergine. It's steaming away nicely here. I'm just going to add a little bit of grated garlic. Okay. So we're going to let the aubergine pieces cool down. They're okay. beautifully cooked and seasoned. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add them to our um, mix. Right, so we've yeah. got a couple of minutes. We've got a couple of minutes. I'm enjoying Cheers. this. Cheers. Cheers. So this is cooled now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add it to the mix. Okay. And we can start shaping the aubergine balls. Right up. I'm just going to mix it together quite well and then we're going to shape them and coat them in a little bit of flour. So the breadcrumbs are quite important here because yeah. they're going to help have it have to stick. hold it together. Okay, so here's some bread for you to slice up. I think this would be really nice. Right, marvellous, thanks. Yeah. So the meatballs are browning nicely, mm -hmm. the obi balls. I'm just going to transfer them now into the sauce. Okay. Just as you would with meatballs? Yeah, to finish cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long are you simmering these for then? Probably give them about 10 minutes. Right, and lid on? Got, yeah, lid on. Okay. Let's get them warm through and all those lovely flavours going into the sauce. Nice. We are ready. Excellent. They are ready. Nice. They're looking fab. They do look fab. So we're just going to garnish them with some basil. Okay. A few black olives, just roughly chopped. You know what, if I didn't know this was your dish and I saw a photo of it, I'd say this was a Jane Baxter dish. It looks great. Finally! It looks great. <laughs> I always give you compliments. They're usually backhanded, but is it? That is delicious. Really, really delicious. Really warm and comforting, hearty. Cheers. Cheers.